strongest earthquakes in Europe since uh, the Turkish in 1999. If you go to a place like America, you're yeah. in this constant police state. In Balkan are corrupted, making uh, smuggling drugs and things like this. And where are you from? India. 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 Uh, How can you split a country which have the, I, mo I mean, the most important museum of their language in another country? <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's the delicious messiah of travel blogging and expat relocation services. We're here with Don Tom. Yep, and uh, I'm so happy to be here with you guys and I want to say that my English is not that good but anyway, we'll try to make our best. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. He's gonna show yeah. us his Tirana. He's got a YouTube channel, Don Tom. On YouTube, I'm gonna put the links inside. Let's go see his Tirana. Try it. Okay, uh, I mean, we are in Albania, a really small country in Europe now, because it's been much bigger before, but anyway. And uh, it's an interesting country with so much things to explore, you know? Albania is like uh, the unexplored country of Europe, I think. I mean, so far, yeah. we haven't seen a whole lot. We've been to Korcha, and we've been mostly around Tirana. But Tirana, yeah. We, we oh, had a lot of work okay. to do when we first came here, because we had just <laughs> left Vietnam and there's a lot going on over there. So we spent the first like month just like getting content finished and- mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to finish like 10 videos. And now we're getting closer to being able to like yep. actually I do mean, Albania stuff, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? This is like also like a backstage stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I am also editing like a lot of videos through this period because this is not what I do for a living. And uh, at uh, 50 sep September, I will start working more for my real life job, let's say, what, than YouTube. What do you do for real life? I'm a biologue, so. <laughs> Cool. That's one of the reasons I travel so much. Right. That's <laughs> Not awesome. Not only in Albania, but also in Balkan mainly. It's uh, been difficult, you know, for from pandemic to travel a lot and to travel free. But I think uh, some countries needed to be seen and Albania have an incredibly culture. So you need to visit Albania, you know? Yeah, we need to see more. We, but yeah, we're, of course. We're going to be living here, so it's not such a problem. We got like at least a year or more that we are intending to be in in uh, Tirana. Maybe That's other perfect. parts of Albania though, I'm not sure. We're thinking maybe at some point... Uh, I like mean Doris. you should uh, definitely visit all Albania because I have been studying there for my PhD studies and master degrees and uh, I have been traveling around Albania and I mean every time I, I start seeing something that I have never seen before and uh, I found another place that it's like something that you have never seen in either, uh, any other countries and I need, to, I think Albania don't have only the natural beauty, you know? No. Yeah, uh, I mean that's the main part and the most important part because I think it's the one of the only countries in Europe that you can offer like uh, 3000 meters altitude mountains and Alps and also coastline then the coastline of Albania, you have the Logara Pass that definitely you need to visit that and it's like uh, it goes from 1050 meters to zero meters like in just one hour. That's <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, guys, that's, I mean, listen, you know, if you haven't seen okay. the photos of Albania or the videos of Albania, you need to YouTube that shit because this country is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful indeed, and I, I think people are getting more and more interested for Albania, you know? They are. Yeah, There's and no this question. is like the city hall of, of Tirana. Oh, know? is it? Yeah, these are the city hall buildings. Is, uh, is that both this, is that this one here as well, the yellow? Uh, yeah, and also uh, there uh, is the, I don't know, the, the uh, it's a ministry, but I'm not sure what yeah, but ministry it's, it's is there. It's yeah, it's like the government place and yeah, buildings. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. I love hall. this building. This is a great building. You said this, this is, is, uh, this is the city hall, or uh, that one is the city hall. Okay. Uh, we are going to look now, but I th this is the agricultural uh, ministry or ministry of yeah, agriculture. Ministry of the, right. the okay. Agriculture, so. okay, I see. Also, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we're learning. I mean, together, I know bro. that they are somewhere here, but not exactly. That yeah. that is the city hall. Oh, right on. Yeah. Okay. The other it's the same building. I mean, the architecture of it, it's like the same thing. So you started blogging out here. Was uh, What brought you into doing that? Uh, as I told you, I'm a biologue and I was traveling a lot. And when pandemic started, I was like, oh, I'm so 
fucking boring from this pandemic, staying home and <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try doing something. Started to do something, some videos. Later on, I, of course, because when I started, I didn't know how to edit videos. Right, I right. didn't know how to film at all. I didn't have, have yeah, all the equipment. And I started with an iPhone 6S, <laughs> right. you know, filming. Yeah, uh, this is like uh, one and uh, more than one half. I think I have, I am doing vlogs. And uh, after that, I started to work more on editing to try new programs. And it's not that hard, to be honest. I mean, if I do, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Everyone can do because I wasn't studying for informatic or the let's say computer. Bro, uh, we started out doing it on my phone. Yeah, we were the same. I started okay, we have the same. Yeah. We have a common. We have yeah. both started on our phones. I did yeah. like 700 videos just on my phone yeah. because I knew I had no chance at competing with YouTube's crazy algorithm and uh, all yeah. the, the technology. That, that, I know. still don't understand the YouTube algorithm, to be honest. <laughs> We're learning now. We're taking it more serious now. But in the beginning, I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm just going to sell my service and I'm going to yeah. use YouTube for advertising. Uh, yeah, I was also <laughs> doing know? for advertising and like only for fun. Let's do it. But now I'm taking it more serious. Like Us you. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because We're maturing with I'm it. sure I'm not uh, having any profit from YouTube, you know, because to get paid, you need like a million views. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, no, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and they it's ridiculous. They don't want authentic content, man. Like if you curse, if you say like things that are not considered politically correct. Yeah, they, they, they I understand. And you know, here in the Balkan, for example, the things are really fucked up, let's say. And so YouTube, mostly of the time, uh, block your videos or your comments sometimes, wow. disappear some comments because we live in Balkan, you know, it's a controversial part of the world. Sure, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Look at this thing. Uh, I yep. mean, they block us all the time too, bro. I have people get unsubscribed. Uh, uh, yeah, but you know what is this? No, tell us. Uh, I don't know it either exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even but, know. Uh, yeah, but That's all right. I no, don't know. it's you like don't know. Uh, a communist uh, thing. I mean, mem memorial, but I'm not sure. Oh, cool. You know that Albania has been the most isolated country for 45 years in the world. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. crazy. I know it was like North Korea for a while. That's a, that's a, I heard some of the stories. Thanks are, God the, the communists fell down here because we were in Europe. In other case, I think we will be the second North Korea in the world. That's pretty wild. I know th there's other countries that have similar problems. Yep. Like, have you heard of Turkmenistan? Uh, yeah, of course. I heard Turkmen that's, pretty, <laughs> that's pretty intense, I heard. I mean, I would like to visit it, but... <laughs> Me too, man. I heard the whole city is marble. Yeah, it's, uh, the whole city is marble. They don't let uh, you would like to have pets in your home dogs are not allowed it wow. what crazy I, I mean I love dogs so yeah me probably too. I, I could not live there but no. anyway <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I like animals so what's it like uh, being from Tirana as, as yes. a young guy in 2020 <laughs> you know like what I'm I mean uh, 2021 I'm now. I'm mostly the, uh, like uh, let's say the last two years I have been mostly living out of Tirana okay where are you been <laughs> but uh, traveling around just all over <laughs> well, yeah I, right. I mean just all over Albania Balkans also in Switzerland because I have been I have having like a Specialization uh, after I did I finished my master degree. Right. Yeah, and I think like Switzerland is my best experience in this in life well, till now. But Switzerland's pretty clean, man. That's a pretty I clean mean, society. it's fucking clean, man. It's it's yeah. extremely clean. I don't know. You are in your home, in your room, and you go out. You say, okay, this is outside because it looks like the same thing as inside. Wow. I mean, the quality of life there is like no other countries that I have been so far. And if you guys need to take any euros out of the ATM, this is the motherfucking ATM that has it inside the inside the Regency. Yep, Regency Casino, yeah. yeah. Because you have to spend money on it. <laughs> yeah, they, it's uh, it's like it easy. easy business, man. We come here to pay rent. Yeah, you, you can get euros. You know? And this is uh, we are now in around the center of Tirana, yeah, you know. Sure. And uh, these are like the most populated. Uh, neighborhoods let's say and the, the better quality of life life is here but i have seen so many other youtubers that like do vlogs that i'm sure are for clickbait because they do lots like uh, the worst tirana slam right i mean in albania you don't have slam man we are just right. we are less than 2.5 million people now and you can't have slam in <laughs> such a small country the, let's continue in the there direction. is there is poverty here and i think it's interesting it to is show. poverty a lot of uh, the people lives in poverty to be honest and the population, I mean, 
the massive population are really poor to be honest because mm. the average salary is less than 300 euros and the cost of living in Toronto and the cost high. and the cost of living in mm. Toronto is uh, surprisingly high I mean for a local uh, person it's crazy. yeah uh, Albania it's not uh, or maybe from for foreigners or people that come from other countries of Europe like Germany United mm. Kingdom even from b other b Balkan countries let's say Greece right they say okay t Albania is f so freaking cheap and it's cheap for them, but not for Albanians. No, it's man. different. Yeah. Listen, we lived in Vietnam for like four and a half years, man. And for everyone yep. talks about how cheap Vietnam is. For the local people, it's not that cheap. Especially I mean, Saigon. Yeah, it's not that cheap. I, I mean, uh, if you want to do and to experience the real life of uh, country and to do travel laws, I mean, you should uh, go on their skin, let's say, and mm -hmm. experience what they experience in real. And also, I mean, Albanian has been suffering for so much time. I mean, probably it's now, it's now time to get paid off for all the, that happened to this you. country. I mean, you guys are so close to the rest of Europe, it just makes yeah. sense that integration has got to happen. I mean, it's a Mediterranean state. I mean, that's one of the things that's so great about it, yep. is you're right on the Mediterranean. You have access to, you know, they're going to be improving the port of Doris. There's a lot of investment coming uh, yeah, in. Yeah, you have the port of Lora City, which is also one of the biggest in Balkan. And after that, you have all the coastline that goes, I mean, Albania is a small country now, but it's uh, it has two seas. Uh, the Adriatic Sea and the Union Sea. I mean, mostly of countries in Europe I only have one. I don't, yeah. I mean, not England or France yeah, that are word. big or Spain, but. <laughs> Yo, and you know what I really like about it too, man, is like, because okay, I'm from I think we should go in that side. This way? Because, okay. Yeah, we go there because I wanted to show you something and later we'll go in the university campus to cool. see how the students stay when they have free time in Tirana. <laughs> cool, I'm down. Well, I was going to say, you know what yeah. I really like about Albania is, is that you can also drive for two, three hours and you're a completely different country. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? I, mean, I mean, Albania, it's a small country now, but... Uh, but small, but connected. Yeah, it's connected. And the, uh, let's say the street infra infra infrastructure is much better uh, than before. I mean, it's I have seen... Uh, uh, a video, you know, I don't know if you have seen Eva. Eva is a girl that do travel videos. Yeah, and yeah, she's I mean, if she's, though, yeah, like she's her. pretty good and I'm she's like pretty her. famous now. And I truly love their, uh, his her videos. But uh, she was in uh, Nivitz and she was like, this is the worst road. I think I would die on this road. I think right. That's like a little bit like clickbait. I, I mean, I have been but, 10 times in that road and never thought I was going to die. But it's not have, that dangerous. They <laughs> have to, though. If you don't create drama and excitement, yeah. nobody's going to watch. And this is what I was talking about with you with before about how like... Yeah, it's true. It's a, it, if you want to just make like the same video everybody else is making, you can get real famous on YouTube. Yeah, but it's, it's a true. formula. It's true, yeah. It's, like there are some people who are just dope and talented but the majority of people you're better off coming up with an idea of a product or of something that you can circumvent YouTube yeah I that's mean, true. because there's so many people trying to compete for this kind of for this advertising money I mean that's true and they are doing almost like the same content in their ways and that's a good thing because you can see like in different options but uh, I mean uh, the things that I want, I am trying to do, and I think uh, is the best thing is to stay uh, open to yourself and to st to stay sincere. So if you like yeah, something, yeah, if you like something, something is good. If you don't like, say it because okay, these are like old buildings, but uh, I think they have been Italian buildings yeah. style because yeah, uh, these have been built it around uh, 1939. Oh, sorry, brother. Yeah, because Albania has been occupied by Italy and uh, Germany, World War II also. <laughs> and they have been uh, staying since they're here. That's a sky tower, it's like a club, but it's in renovation now. Yeah, I know, they haven't finished it yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm they haven't finished I heard it. the story about it, like they weren't supposed to build it, but then somebody got paid and it ended up getting built. It's like corruption that happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, that's true. <laughs> it's a pretty cool, like, pretty cool building. It doesn't really fit it into the It is pretty cool. No, it does not. There. I don't think it's safe because also Albania, it's a seismic country, you know? Yeah, it's earthquake Yeah, from, like uh, earthquake one from. year and a half, to uh, almost two years before we are hit by a very strong earthquake. Yeah. I mean, the strongest earthquakes in Europe since uh, the Turkish in 1999. So. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, and they have fatalities and casualties, so. 
Yeah. I mean, this is so high, man. So if an earthquake hits this thing, okay. it's a wrap. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing? Hey, what's up, guys? Where are you from? India. 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 Nice yeah. You. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you some guys I mean, are... this is uh, like if you go to India, all of them will do subscribe to you. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I'm the dude. And you no, 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 you need to film this because okay. uh, this okay. is the reason I pass into this Let's street. Let's go in that side. But if you if you want to do well in YouTube, India, Malaysia, India, Malaysia, Philippines, Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we say this in the right moment. People speak a lot of English, you know, like. Yeah. And there's a big population. Well, these are the these have been before the let's say the houses of the communist regime leaders. Right. You know? okay. Yeah. This so is the this is, this is the houses. neighborhoods. Yeah. These are the houses. I mean, like. Uh, so it looks like a consulate to me. What is what is it? I don't know what is it now. But it maybe was. it's a consulate, or maybe it has been before. I'm not sure what is it now because mostly of them now are turned into locals and clubs, mm. nightclubs and things. Uh, this is like the most visited part of Albania. Yeah, block. Uh, block, block. Yeah, bloku. it's block. Block. It means I don't know how to explain because don't have a right. Uh, it means the block. It means the block. In yeah, English, because yeah. before, uh, when uh, Albania was a communist country, this uh, this neighborhood was like blocked from every right. other. Yeah, it, it so wasn't it was literally a lot. blocked. And yeah, bloku. it's uh, block and, and, and block. blocked. Yeah, block and blocked. I I don't know if they have have a relation, but <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. I hope <laughs> it's a good explanation. When we first got here this is where we stayed we stayed uh, yeah. kind of over here yeah i mean this is one of the most popular neighborhoods now but uh, the reason that uh, why we passed here because i wanted to show you the house of the enver Hoza dictator oh yeah we know it you know uh, yeah you yeah. have filmed it probably but let's show them anyway. yeah let's show it's okay yeah yeah but you can maybe tell us a bit more about it which uh, would be more i mean uh, this all this house has been connected yeah from people which have been like the political leaders in the time okay. and uh, uh, something happened that everyone which uh, was there, you know how the communism uh, thing works out and they, you need, if you need to, let's say, lead, it, lead the country, you need to eliminate other, you know? Right, right. Yeah, right. So and they, it was like you're talking about basically for them to stay in power, they had to eliminate yeah, their they, enemies. Yeah, uh, their enemies and I mean their biggest fears, let's say, or people that they fear the most. So, so uh, like kinda this Stalin is the house, did. this Stalin is the house, the yeah, it's, I mean, and Verhoza also had Stalin style yeah, and Soviet was. style yeah, in Albania yeah. was so common. So this is the house of the dictator. So that was that was uh and Verhoza is that how Hoza, Hoza. Hoza. G because Hoza. Albania have some uh, different uh, letters in the alphabet. Yeah. And I mean this house was connected to the Prime Minister house which has been Mehmet Shell, which later uh, so, I think I mean so they said that he made suicide, but uh, for all the people that live in Albania, they know that Enver Hoxha kills him, like okay. he has done with all of the yeah, other friends. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go see them from the front because you get a little bit of a better view when you turn the corner. Yep. I mean, yeah, right up yeah, here. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Let's see how the sunlight. If the now sunlight it's works. now it's. I mean, it's. Yep, yeah, it's much different Albania and this neighborhood. But imagine in that time. I mean, yeah. this villa is amazing. Even in that time, imagine to live in that villa. Yeah, now <laughs> and, he's right um, in the middle of the city. Yeah, and mostly of the people who are starving from. Yeah. yeah. And he's got his own in-ground pool and shit. You know? Yep. <laughs> wow, Not that bad country. for a leader. <laughs> no, it's pretty rough actually, you know. So the, yeah. The sunlight is kind and of And the history is that in 1945, when the Communist Party comes uh, in leading Albania, uh, they eliminated of the, all the rich people that had those houses. They took them out uh, by force and they started, okay, now we will here. Live we here yeah. Now there's no sun. That's crazy. So they just basically seized, seized everything. Wow. So yeah, this is the house, guys. So yeah, imagine having this as your property, right? How much is it empty? Yeah, they're not using no, it for no, anything. No, are they? it's not empty. Uh, it's empty. I mean, it's empty, but uh, also it's not a museum. I don't know why they are keeping it. Probably they, they will build a skyscraper. Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure for well, that. Well, I think it definitely should be and preserved. The uh, the this is the house. I mean, now it's a club, but before this, uh, that has been the house of the prime minister that has been killed. Yeah. So let's go see it because. So uh, don't don't have a lot to see because now it's a club over no, there. No, but let's but see the front of it. Let's see. Uh, that I mean, the first house ends here where the flag is, Albanian flag, and the second house is like the prime minister house. Oh, I see. So, this, so yeah. this is actually a separate house, but it looks like it's built the same. Yeah, because and all the houses have been connected by uh, tunnels, underground tunnels. Wow, so. I see. 
All right, let's take a look. So is that this one you're talking about here? With the bushes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, they, is... this was the former prime minister's house and then they turned it into a club? I mean, this has been the longest life prime minister of Albania for around 40 years. And this was a house, but they converted it into a club? Yeah. Wow, guys, that's pretty funny, huh? I so. mean, after communism fell, a lot of private uh, invested to buying things like this. And this is now Lincoln Center. They, they teach English now. Wow, okay. <laughs> so this is now an English Yeah, center. it's an English teaching center. So that's interesting, guys. So look, we're going to have to look at, into that. because. Have you found easy to find people that speak English in Albania? Yeah, it's really Yeah, I mean, a lot of people speak uh, English and uh, basically good English. We're gonna. This is a big part of our game, guys, is the ESL thing. So. Now I'm going to have to okay, go, let's go and then turn left. <laughs> okay. Do a little searching on Lincoln Centers of Albania because I can supply teachers. If there's a market here for teachers, I can get them. Um, there's people who I think would probably be willing to work out here. I've heard salaries, though, for native speaking teachers is not very high. Yeah, it's like uh, 400 euros or less. Yeah, see, guys, that's I like, mean, never do. Then uh, how do they even get people who will teach? Is it just competitive? Is it just there's that many people willing to? Or? I mean, uh, people need job, you know, needs to live, so right. they will do it with any price. But they'll hire. It's bet, yeah. They won't get native speakers for that. They're not going to get somebody from the UK to work for four hundred. No, 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 that's no. What I'm that's saying. definitely they. They are okay. Like the biggest organi organization or the biggest English schools that are in Albania. Yeah. I mean, they use Albanian teachers, English teachers. That not makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes that's sense. why, guys. That's yeah, why. Yeah, they, they they use Albanian teachers. But the let's say the directors are from England or US. Right, I see. Mm -hmm. so okay. Like the yeah, so let's go to this part, that part of the. So city. this is going to be a better spot for someone who wants to do administration. Um, uh, of course. <laughs> I was talking to uh, one of my homeboys who's Albanian. He says if the, if there's uh, native speakers who want to work in call centers, that he says they don't get paid too much, but they make commission and they can make a pretty good amount of money. I mean, call center is illegal at all. So. Yeah, but it's like the biggest business. In the city. Uh, yeah, in, in the city, yeah, in Tirana, in Albania, <laughs> and uh, I it's, mean, it's, it's crazy, one guys. of the most. Uh, paid jobs that you can do here and so they do hire native speakers. i mean if you work like uh, let's say a biolog you will get paid like 300 euros per month and if you work in a uh, call center we get like 1000 so yeah exactly the people choose it by easily yeah so. there's not it's, there's not a choice <laughs> yeah that's not a choice that's an yeah. obligation to leave <laughs> <laughs> yeah you want to eat <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, like. and the, also the rents are too expensive in tirana it's not cheap yeah yeah i, can I see. mean uh, even for us as expats, like, I think it's a fair deal, but I don't think it's the cheapest place you can live. I think no, it's not the cheap. I mean, for people that comes from foreign countries or, or Asia. Ma more de yeah, developed countries, it's ma like, uh, okay, they found Albanian cheap, but actually it's not that cheap, you know? No, it's it's good if you're coming from like the States or- Yeah, the, from the States, you know, from UK. Germany, from UK, yeah. France, or thing, uh, this yeah, country. Yeah, then it's but good. But if you're coming from like Southeast Asia and you're accustomed I to mean, Southeast if you Asia go, prices, it's more here. Yep, if you go to like North Macedonia, Sedona, I will find the half of the prices that are in Albania. So I like Skopje. I mean, yeah, I like Skopje too, and I think it's a beautiful city. But uh, but this is more to alive to me. Uh, yeah, but Tirana, uh, not only Tirana, but Albania offers so much more opportunities yeah. than North Macedonia. Well, look know? how look at the difference between Skopje and here. Look how more alive like Tirana. Uh, yeah, is. like you can see the nightlife, the clubs, the businesses works much more than in North Macedonia. Uh, you have Macedonia is better if you just want to work on a laptop and get some shit done for a few months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. And also one of the biggest advantages that Albania have in Balkan is the coastline and the tourism. Yes. You know, I mean, that's a big advantage. All that Macedonia has is Lake Okrid. Lake Okrid, which is shared with Albania. <laughs> and it is amazing, but it's not the coast. And by the way, all the cities around Lake Ohrid, our Albanian population lives they there. They are, so, yeah. We've yeah. been to Struga, we've been to Ohrid, we've been, yeah. and uh, we've been through uh, Pogradex. But we uh, yeah, for example, the origin of my family has been from Manastir city, which now is in North Macedonia. So. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because they have split it us. <laughs> what are you near? What city? What, what city uh, uh, it's Bitolia nowadays in oh, North cool. Macedonia. Oh, I heard that's I a nice mean, place. Yeah, I, I will go there. <laughs> yeah, I need to go there too. I yeah, really I check mean, I have my roots <laughs> some, somewhere around there. <laughs> have you never been there? Uh, I have been once. Okay. 
I, I have been good. once, but now, and uh, you know what? In Bitola, you can find this uh, museum of Albanian alphabet language, yeah. That's so interesting. It's yeah, not, I mean, not... how can you split a country which have the, I, mo I mean, the most important museum of their language in another country? I know, it's a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's a little okay, bit Okay, we will crazy. continue inside. Sounds good to me. Yeah, this block is beautiful. Yeah, and I, uh, I mean, uh, this is... Uh, uh, it's called Libre Universitar, but the university book, let's say, in English. Uh -huh. And I mean, it's one of the top uh, neighborhoods in Albania. Yeah, and this in is Tirana. nice over here. Really nice. We live right down the street. We just live like straight down that way. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, you told me. Yeah, right by El Basani. I mean, you are also in a very good spot. In it's a, a nice city, location. Yeah. yeah, well, we picked it because we wanted to But live. I mean, uh, in Tirana, you don't have like really bad neighborhoods. I mean, no, I haven't seen Also, any. the neighborhoods that I live, it's uh, like one hour from city center. Okay. Yeah, and it's not the, b uh, the greatest. It's not the... B but it's calm. Don't have like... A lot of crime I it's mean safe. It's yeah, yeah it's yeah. safe no I feel I mean, yeah. uh, in Albania if you I'm sometimes I'm I laugh when people go to Asia and they are doing videos like the most dangerous place in city and you see like people who watch, we are trying oh, to smuggling uh, weed so, let me tell you a story <laughs> about that so it's it's all clickbait shit bro and yep, you know yep. we, we all have to do it I have to do it to a certain extent also, also. I do it in some of my videos but uh, I mean I see their videos and I'm saying okay if you want to see the real dangers come to Balkan. <laughs> well, no, but what I was going to say was like in Southeast Asia, for example, there's a kid, I'm not going to shout out anybody's name, but he did a video yeah. like the most dangerous neighborhood in Saigon. Now, there is, if you, it's very similar in, in Vietnam to here, where even if the neighborhood is poor, it doesn't mean it's dangerous. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing for Albania. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are also videos like we are visiting the Tirana slum, war slum, or yeah. uh, worst neighborhood. The, the really most dangerous, dangerous places in Asia dangerous. are where there's a lot of tourists. Yeah. Where there's a lot of foreigners, because that's where people are going to be looking to try to get you. You know, like, because they're looking to get some money on the foreigner. Yeah, of course. Also, in Albania, this thing doesn't... Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's not common for people to scam the foreigners or... No, I've had to, it happen twice it. already. Oh, really? Yeah, but very small things, like... I mean... Like, not big deal. One was a yeah. cleaning lady. Oh. She thought she was going to sit there all day on her ass to charge me money. Ah, the, I mean, you can find in every country, yeah, yeah. but I mean, generally, if you go to a shop, nobody will go into scam. No, by the, the new, taxi driver, the mostly bizarre, no. He yeah. tried charging me uh, 200 lakh more than on the menu. Oh, that's... <laughs> but it's harmless, like it's small, you know? It's normal. And like... Uh, no, it's not... Uh, that, uh, even that, it's not normal, I mean... Really? Yeah, it's uh. not... But I think they also do that uh, with Albanians, they might. I mean... Uh, yeah, might. They might. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because might. it depends from the person, but I mean... But no, I would say overall, man, that it's not bad at all. Like, you don't have a red light district here that I've seen. No, 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 not at all. So I that's, mean, so there's uh, no, like, there are some cities and some neighborhoods, in, not in Tirana, but in some other cities that are really dangerous. But uh, I mean, there are not touristic spots and I mean, they are also friendly, but if you go with a cam in your hand, they have like problem with drugs and uh, they are like small cartels, let's say. Right. Because I mean, Albania and uh, Balkan, all the political in Balkan are corrupted, making uh, smuggling drugs and things like this. And also they have like, they are people that work for them, but they are innocent, I think. <laughs> you See, know? I prefer these countries for a lot of reasons. Like I lived in mostly in Indochina, like yep. uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand because these places have a lot of freedom like yeah it's messed up and there's a lot of problems but if you go to a place like america you're yeah. in this constant police state where like the government knows every dollar you have <laughs> i'm, I'm you, sure for that <laughs> you're being recorded constantly by fucking cameras and i phone, mean in usa you know? now our, the police have like a million problems especially if well, the, they can just murder with the you killing in the of, yeah they might or they wrap you up in the system and then you end up working for free in a private prison and they're selling you I labor. mean, the problem in Albania and I mean, in some other countries, it's, the life is not that bad. The problem, the only problem is the corruption and the people that live in poverty and the poor country, let's, uh, the poor people, let's say, because uh, this is a, rare, a really rich country. They have minerals, they have tourism. I mean, Albania, it's <laughs> probably better than Switzerland if you 
uh, let's say work in the right way but mm. uh, people in Albania it's not that our poor are stolen so right <laughs> the wealth gets taken well it's the same in all these countries bro Please. like you know people think of the US and they think of it as like this amazingly rich place and everything's great I mean uh, it's not man it's it has a lot of similar problems uh, yeah I mean of course but uh, you should go on YouTube and look up San Francisco homeless I mean, <laughs> have thousands. I think we have more there than here in Albania. Bro, they, have, they have tent cities. My mom says she she saw a guy taking a shit on the street, like just the other day. Like not yeah. even a, it's like normal. Some dude will be on this corner just taking a dump right on the corner. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I, I have seen a lot of videos and content on YouTube. Or, it's fucked. Yeah, it's fucked. Like at least here, but, people are uh, civilized. You know. I like, mean, the difference or the biggest difference is that uh, the people that really want to work and to find a job, they can achieve something. You know, but. Maybe. Uh, it's, uh, if they deserve something, they achieve. I mean, not 100%, but a lot of time. Here it's a different. The people that don't have any value goes up, and the people that really deserve to be on top are like uh, so down not. so low. Well. You listen, yeah. I, would, I would argue that maybe that was true about America 20, 30 years ago. I think now it's becoming much more I mean, like so, this. Tirana, it's under construction. Do you want to walk through of the some city. of these weird back roads? Should, should we cut through here? Yeah, of course. All right, let's see. I something. mean, I do this all the time. Cool. Let's I do have. It. I want to see. <laughs> yeah. So there, you, there doing all kinds of construction here guys listen I'd say I mean the it's, more I travel like yep. having lived in all these and I also lived in Australasia Australia New Zealand bro like the, there's so many places that even that seem really good and once you get under the surface you start to see there's a really ugly side to almost every country yeah I mean uh, you know, like the people the opinion of for Albania it's much worse than it this country actually is to be honest. Okay, I think let's it's go. actually pretty good here. I think a lot of Albanian people tend uh, to... Yeah, also, also me, I mean, I'm saying that Albania have like tons of problems, a lot of problems, but it's much, much more better than people think it is, you know? I think it's better than Vietnam. You don't have the population problem. I mean, it's not, yeah, I mean, it's not comparable at all with the Asia yeah. in that country. I mean, You've only the got life a couple here, million people. How many yeah. people in the whole country? Uh, I think 2.5 now, because like... <laughs> half, it's not much. <laughs> because half a million of people have been living Albania through well, guys, <laughs> last I mean, that, year. That's less than New Zealand. I mean, granted, it's a smaller country. And yep. like, it's going to be a little more crowded because it's Europe and it's, it's older. But like, like, that's still a manageable population even with some of the problems that exist yeah i mean if that's the reason i'm saying like uh, if other youtubers do videos like slams in albania you can't have slams in in such a small country with a small population it's not <laughs> it's yeah. not common i mean it's actually like i have never really felt like yeah. unsafe anywhere like i know those ghetto videos are good clickbait but like I've lived in places in America where like legit I would actually be I wouldn't say I'd be afraid, but I wouldn't want to walk around holding. Yeah, an I understand. Camera. I understand. You know the no. mentality is really different, bro. Guys will just run up with oh. a, with a weapon for no reason. Yeah, yeah. You know, like no, here is like so in Albania. Here. I mean, if you see your job and you do your own thing, nobody will have problems with you. The people are cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, real especially cool. with str uh, with strangers, especially with foreigners, the people the hospitality of Albania is much higher than. For example, if I go to film and make a video in a restaurant, mm. they okay, okay, do it. It's okay. But if a, a foreigner go and do the same video as me, they are okay. Come here. Yeah, this is yeah. free. <laughs> yeah. No, I can see it. I can. I can absolutely see it. Yeah. Like Yeah, and uh, I mean, not only uh, better to go in this side. And I mean, not only in Tirana because Tirana is. Uh, yeah, just a second. It's, yeah, we'll cut yeah. through. Yeah, yeah we it's are in the middle of the, of the street. <laughs> it's one of the nicer places I've been, man, because don't get me wrong, listen, I love Vietnam. I have great... Uh, no, change. I, I would love also to visit Asia. It's I, amazing. I hope to do it soon, yeah. It's a totally uh, different culture, and I mean, it needs it to be experienced. It changed my life being there, but I... but. Like in terms of quality of life, my quality of life here is infinitely higher. Yeah, 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 infinitely yeah, higher. yeah that's true. Even that's in true. Saigon, I was living in luxury. I had a two bedroom apartment on the 28th floor. I yep. had a river view, I had a pool, I had all that shit. And it was still to me, this is more healthy and more natural. Like people here have walk, there's pedestrian space. Yeah. yeah. Less people, you got this beautiful view right here, the mountains. Yeah, I you mean, know, it's, 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 it's totally a, true. In Vietnam, it's like big city, you know, really it's so dirty, crowded, yeah. tall, tall buildings. How many people? Like 13 million. 13 million. It's a lot of people. Officially. Yes. Officially, because yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, hundred million officially. in the whole country. Yeah. And it's not that big of a country. It's a very long country. It's long north south. But coming here, I could, you know, I, I could leave Tirana if I don't want crowds. Once you leave, once you leave like Duras, Tirana, 
population here is pretty small. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, Duras is not the second biggest city in Albania. No? No, it's Koder with uh, around 300,000 people. Yeah, but Duras is, Duras is kind of part of Tirana almost. Yeah, let's go in the direction. It's like there's no end between Tirana and Duras. They're like the same. I mean, yeah, uh, soon it will be the same city, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't been to Skoder. Uh, Sk how do you say it? Skodra? Skoder. Skoder. Because really Albanians like, uh, try to pronounce Shipari. Okay. Shipari. Shipari. Yeah, we don't have S, but we have S and H, and uh, together make Sh. Sh. Mm. Shipari. Okay. Shipari, yeah. Hey, Hello. what up girls? Hey. Subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so so we um we are cruising. Uh, where are we now? We're by Mother uh, Teresa Square, is, I think, uh, right? Yeah, uh, no, we are far from there. Is far. That, mm -hmm. far, but this is the art university, the University oh, of Arts in Albania. Yes. Oh, yes. We and live on the other side of this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And this is like I'm I mean, sure you have seen it, but isn't that Mother Teresa Square up there? Yep. That is, right? Yeah, yeah that is, okay. and that's Air Albania Stadium that doesn't in the fit. back. <laughs> that doesn't fit the city at all. I mean, totally. Especially really the weird. tower over there. Yeah, I mean, it's cool in a way, but it's really it's No, cool. it's not that cool at all. Like, I like how it's public space. Like, how they I did, mean, you know, like they did that. I mean, like, the tower is just for profit, you know? Yeah, no, <laughs> and it looks ridiculous. It doesn't yeah. fit. It really sticks out. Like, all the new buildings in Tirana really stick out. The, yeah, I like the older way of building. Yeah, I mean, if the the older buildings were in the place, I, I mean, this city would be, like, really beautiful and yeah. ancient. Oh, if they just kept rebuilding in the same style that the city center was built in? I, I mean, don't think so. I, I think uh, everyone built it what... Uh, whatever the hell they uh, want. Whatever the hell they yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, um, agree. What's this one here on the right? This, uh, big this, uh, yeah, this is the place where are we going to stay for a little bit. This cool. is the University of... Uh, I don't know how to say in English. Uh, engineers. Engineers like uh, oil engineers. Uh, oh, so it's an engineering not university. Architect. Yeah, engineering uh, university. But it's uh, one of the main spots for uh, Albanian news to stay here, you know? Mm, and okay. sometimes more weed, but anyway, yeah, we, we are here, going to blaze. stay for a little. <laughs> Everybody I know who blazes, they blaze over there by the Mother Teresa Square there. Where yeah. everybody's on the skateboards. Yeah, we went for a walk this at night. Super crowded. Yeah, this yeah, is the I have spot. a lot of people because now it's still, I mean, Albania, it's autumn now, September, and it's yeah. so hot. <laughs> yeah, well, this is when we're going to start traveling because the prices are getting lower and more reasonable. Yeah, yeah, I mean. So we're going to start going to actually, actually, in Tehran, I will not find, also through the summer, I mean, not the prices are not getting that much higher. Let's go and climb there. So I'm actually thinking I, I got to find out because with all the COVID changes right now, everything's crazy, but I've been wanting to go to Kosovo. So I got to figure out, do I, I need mean, a PCR? you have to go to Kosovo because there are uh, Kosovo Albanians. I don't know I, if, for, look, for Albanians, it's not that common to pronounce it Kosovo because they are also Albanians. So. Right, right. And but before... I really want to go there. I heard it's really a uh, beautiful country and interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a country that has suffered a lot. I, I mean, part of Albania that has suffered a lot because <laughs> yeah. uh, they, it's not a, even a country we don't have. Kosovo is like Slavic pronunciation, but the name in Albanian or the name of the land is called Dardania. Dardania. Yeah, then, then, then they are called like Dardan. That's so. really interesting. Okay, so... Okay, you can... I think this is a beautiful building and I mean this is here like uh, 9010 have been built it, yeah. I mean, oh, over cool. a century here. <laughs> See, this is the kind of architecture, guys. Look, how this doesn't make sense, this big red thing. This and the coin. That's yep. Well. This makes more sense to me. <laughs> I this mean, is beautiful. this is the real Albania, yeah. <laughs> if you want yeah. to see. And if you, I mean, Tirana, it's like the most uh, populated country and uh, the biggest tourist attraction because they only Tirana know, but Albania, it's all the country to be discovered. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, listen, Tirana is a great place to be based. You can get to a you lot of You want to sit places. for a little bit here? Yeah, let's chill yeah. for a minute, okay. drink some water and whatnot. I mean, look, it's beautiful, you yeah? What do you think of when you think of Albania? I think of opportunity. I think of a country that's open. I think of a country that wants long stay expats, that wants people to come and invest, wants new ideas, and is looking towards the West. 
I think that Albania is a beautiful country with incredible landscapes that can offer a very comfortable lifestyle at a very reasonable price. We will help navigate your journey to becoming an expat in Albania. We're working with some of the top lawyers. We can help establish businesses. We can help you get your residency. We can help you get real estate. We can arrange almost any contact that you might need for the process of moving here in almost any city in the country. We will simplify the process. We'll make it a lot easier for you to move to a country that maybe in the past would have been more of a challenge. With our help, it's gonna be a walk in the park. Hey, what's up? I'm Dee from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start? You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. And we help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do.